We have new information tonight in the Wild West Village shootout as a second U.S. Marshal injured in the gun battle has left the hospital. The suspect was killed, and now we are learning new details on how he was tracked down. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. He lived quietly with a friend in Alphabet City and worked across town in the West Village. Charles Mosdier grew his hair long, sported a beard, and went by the name John Smith, all in an effort to hide his status as a fugitive and accused child predator. He was definitely uh, living uh, cash with a good fake ID, and he was off our grid, for sure. Federal marshals in California led the hunt for Mose Deer, who fled a molestation charge in San Diego, dumped his car in Georgia, and ended up in New York, working at the Smoking Culture Shop on West 4th Street. When the CNN show The Hunt profiled Mose Deer last week, marshals got a phone tip, putting him in the New York metropolitan area. Our, our information was that he had gone to the New Jersey area, but ultimately we located him in Manhattan. We started getting information that he may be near a smoke shop, which made sense. He had a history of working in smoke shops. He had a hobby of blowing glass, which would come in handy at a smoke shop. Marshals tracked Mose Deer to the West Village by tracing a cell phone number. He was shot dead after opening fire on two U.S. Marshals and an NYPD detective. This CBS2 exclusive video shows an officer picking up Mose Deer's gun. Investigators say he emptied the five-round chamber and was killed by return fire from the U.S. Marshals. Tuesday, forensic teams continued to collect evidence and investigators began to check open sex assault cases to see if Mose Deer committed any crimes during his time in New York. In the West Village, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And tonight, only an NYPD detective assigned to the Fugitive Task Force remains in the hospital. Detective Mario Muniz was shot in the groin. His bulletproof vest is credited for stopping at least one other bullet.